doing? Getting the knee, the elbow in, the knee in, then getting the knee to elbow. Then we're gonna space over here, and then going straight on the top. If we can get this foot behind the knee, I'll just need to take the path. If we can get the foot behind the knee, that helps control the roll. Sometimes people roll pretty hard. I can try to keep the shoulder down with my knee behind the shoulder, put my foot on the back of his hips, put a bit more weight there, but it's not a great angle for your leg to be in, so you're not gonna be able to push too hard. It just puts a bit more weight on his hips in the angle that he doesn't want it to go. But sometimes he does still, might. well, if you have this sort of situation, you want more control, one thing you can do is also, if you think this is gonna be an issue, is put the foot through and triangle up the legs and then start going for your triangle stuff. Once you control the head, it makes everything else easier to do. Because if he does roll, you're rolling towards the mouth. But if you have this position here, and we're after trying to get the Kimura, the arm bar, or the omoplata, and at this stage he starts rolling, sometimes, especially for longer legs like Pat, you can roll with him, keeping the leg to make it hard for him to go any further, keeping that leg behind that leg, and then bringing it up and crossing your ankles. So this obviously reduces his movement, and keeps our hips up near his neck and his shoulder where we want it to be. From there, you can start attacking as well. Most common would be the arm bar or the Kimura, but if you can come up with anything else, feel free. So just as you roll, stay with him, hold his other heel, his free foot, to slow him down, and then just cross your ankles up behind the shoulder. Longer legs, you'll be able to do a triangle. All right, on two, guys, one, two.